So, charging a capacitor. What we're going to do is look at, as a function of time, the same thing that we did before. So we have a battery with EMF E0, a resistor with resistance R, and then our capacitor with capacitance C. And what we're going to try to find, as a function of time, is the charge on this capacitor. Q as a function of time. So it's important here, this is my resistance R, it's important here to note just a couple of, uh, a couple of relationships. One, that the charge on the capacitance is equal to at any time, not just at the end, the capacitance times the voltage of the capacitor. Also, same way that the voltage of the capacitor is equal to the charge on the capacitor over the capacitance. current is equal to IR. So, in order to figure out how things change with time, we're not going to be at the very beginning, and we're not going to be at the end. This is just some time later. I have some charge Q, some unknown Q on here. I have current. It hasn't stopped yet. So we're going to do a loop, a Kirchhoff loop. So we know as we go around this loop, we have to have zero total voltage. As we go across the battery in the correct direction, we pick up the EMF of the battery. As we go across the resistor, we lose the current times the resistance, the voltage across the resistor. And as we go across the capacitor, because this side's positive and this side's negative, we're going backwards across it. So we're going to lose the voltage of the capacitor as we go across it. Or we could think of that capacitor being opposed to the battery. Um, we lose whatever charge is on that capacitor divided by the capacitance. Now, looking at this right now, it may seem like an equation we can't do much with. After all, I have I's and Q's together. But, but, we have a relationship between Q and I. So if I is dQ over dT, this thing changes into the EMF of my battery minus R times dQ over dT minus Q over C. And this here becomes a differential equation that we, we can deal with. So, so what we want to do here is put in a form that we're more used to seeing. So I'm just going to move this over. R dQ over dT is equal to EMF of that battery minus Q over C. Now this we know what to do with. So I'm going to rewrite that up here. R times dQ over dT is equal to EMF minus Q over C. We're going to do a little separation of variables. So I'm going to say R times dQ over my function of Q over here. EMF minus Q over C is equal to dt. <clears throat> and then I can just and bring r over. That's not a big deal. We're going to integrate this thing. We're starting off where time is 0, ending where time is t. We're going to integrate here. Where my q is 0, that's where I initially start, and I end up at some later q. I'm using a lowercase just so that we have it a little bit different. So. This, this hopefully should look a little bit like a function that we've done this to before, uh, namely air resistance. So looking at this, I know that I'm going to have uh, the natural log of this function, E minus Q over C, from 0 to Q. That's going to become important. Divided by the derivative of the inside of this, which is just negative 1 over C. So it's times negative c. And that's going to be equal to uh, t over r. So now we have this natural log of the final thing, emf minus q over c over, if I plug in 0 for q, that just gives me emf. And that's equal to negative t over rc. I just brought that c over. 
This is just going to take some time to get used to. We'll go over this in class again and again. Um, we raise each one of these to the e power. We end up with um, EMF of the battery minus Q over C over EMF of the battery, and that's equal to E times negative T over RC. I'm going to change color here and just write down the final equation because at this point, uh, at this point, it's just some algebra. So Q, as a function of time here, is equal to um, the EMF in the battery times the capacitance, which makes some sense. Q is equal to CV times 1 minus E to the negative T over RC. And what that gives me is a function, Q, that starts off at 0 and approaches some asymptote, which is what we discussed before. <clears throat> and if we're feeling crazy, we could take the derivative of this, and it's going to give me a function for the current. I'll let you do that on your own, but what we get is this EMF over the resistance times just E to the negative T over RC. And that gives me our expected current starting off at a maximum value and dying. We will have time to spin with this and we will look at a discharging capacitor. But this is our first step.